Well, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're enjoying another sunny yet very cold day. I think it was minus eight this morning when I first time I looked at the uh, temperature. It might have been colder than that. But it's uh, day 316, church in the time of quarantine, and it is January 28th. I wrote down 27th. It's January 28th, Augie's birthday. Um, so uh, it's also uh, Thomas Aquinas' day. Okay, uh, on this day, 814, uh, Charlemagne, Holy Roman Emperor, uh, he died in Aachen on this day in 814. Uh, 1521, Charles V, he opened the Diet of Worms, uh, which ultimately denounced Martin Luther. Uh, so there's something for all you Lutherans out there. Uh, and in 1813, uh, Jane Austen's great uh, book, Pride and Prejudice, was uh, first released on this day in 1813. As far as announcements, um, yeah, the uh, COVID cases went down again yesterday. Well, they, according to Waukesha County, not according to her diocesan counting numbers, but I'm going to go with Waukesha County over that one. So we're going in the right direction. Uh, that brings us to trivia. So yesterday's question was uh, to name the Italian composer who died on January 27th, 1901. Who's best remembered for such operas as Rigoletto, Il Travatore, and Aida? Uh, that is Giuseppe Verde. And we had, uh, or Verdi, not Verde, that's green, isn't it? Maybe it's, maybe it's green in uh, Italian, too. I'm not sure. I took German. But uh, we had two correct answers, one from Sue Sevens and one from Jay Grinick. So congratulations on your uh, operatic knowledge. It gets us to today's trivia, which is on this day in 1958, uh, Gottfried Kirk Christiansen for a Danish patent for a toy building block. Name this toy building block that uh, is from Denmark and was patented, uh, or the patent was filed on this day. Uh, if you name the block or the company, they're the same. All right, well, we have a reflection today from uh, Guigo. I think we've had him before. Um, and then we'll end with a prayer. He says this. We welcome the obvious signs of love, such as a cheerful expression in other people. Why do we not want them for ourselves? It is good for you to have the love of others. It helps them. By loving you, they experience God, who is love. Love is its own compensation. Be a good companion and friend of others, not their egotistical master. Do everything with love, not with overbearing pomposity. Love belongs to everyone. Each of us is to love everyone. Anyone who desires exclusive love is a robber and steals from everyone. Ultimately, there will be no regret for having considered gold to be gold or soil to be soil. These thoughts are true, but if we give our love to something unworthy of it or hope in something that is unable to help us, then we will regret it. Loving something that is not worth loving is as mistaken as thinking that soil is gold. The first mistake can be deadly. The second is not all that harmful. And yet many worry more about the second than the first. <clears throat> you can look at a tender shoot on a vine and anticipate the harvest in the same way, love those who are not yet good. If you simply love those who love you or love someone in order to be loved, you are not really loving. You are reciprocating. You are paying love for love. You are nothing more than a money changer. You already have your reward. All right, and we'll end uh, with a prayer for the joy in God's creation. O Heavenly Father, who has filled the world with beauty, open our eyes to behold thy gracious hand in all thy works, that rejoicing in thy whole creation we may learn to serve thee with gladness, for the sake of him through whom all things are made, thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, well have a great day and talk to you later.